Yo, I'm going from this bad boy to this little boy. This. Well, it was kind of hard doing this with, with no help. You see that? Look at this little shit. Yeah, we're going to that. Yeah, boy. The breather. Yeah, I'm gonna put this out of my valve cover. Stay tuned. This is a half inch NPT brass fitting. It's a 90 degree elbow bend and it fits perfectly inside of the oil cap. Perfect, you can't go any bigger. Now the reason why I, I went with this size versus the other setup I had, if you watch, if you watch one of my first videos, I, I had customized my own air breather with a uh, quarter inch brass fitting. It was just a straight pipe and I had a little filter. It was about half the size as this. But anyway, this is an eight inch PCV, I'm sorry, PVC, I think. I don't know, I always fucking forget. But this is plastic basically and uh, this is eight inches. I got this from eBay for like 10 bucks. And two of these fittings were $12 on Amazon. And this I got from Amazon. This was like 25, 30 bucks. Like 25 or 30. And this is a three-fourths crankcase vent filter. And um, I literally screwed this in there. You know, it's it's not really tight. But just for now, I'm gonna zip tie a tie down here to the second coil and just you know hold it there but guys I can close the hood I can close the hood and it doesn't touch the hood because first of all it has the hood spacer so the hood sits up in the back it's perfect I know it looks a little crazy but I wanted to breathe more and the issue I was having with the first setup was oil you know when I would beat on it oil would get you know leak out of the filter and get on the bottom of the hood a little bit it would be a little bit of oil nothing major but that's one of the reasons. The most important reason is I want more airflow. And the original setup I had was a quarter inch airflow. This is a half inch airflow. So it's breathing a lot better. I barely get oil in my oil catch can. And that's because it's breathing really good. And now, the bad boy's breathing better. It does look better when I have it over here. It does look better. Like you, and first of all, this matches the valve cover perfectly, you know? And I did think that the brass fittings were gonna be a little heavy, but having this on here, it's like really, really sturdy. So that's why I had got the uh, PCV, or the PVC, I always forget the name, but that's why I got this in plastic, because of the weight. Because these bad boys are pretty heavy. It does look better like that, but the problem is it's gonna hit the hood. It's gonna hit the hood like that. Unless I can, I can bend it that way down. But then again, I don't want oil getting on my motor. But you know, if oil doesn't, because by the time the oil comes through here, liquid, it's most likely gonna stop. Because before I had it going straight up. You got all the oil right under here, splashing everywhere. So I might be able to leave it like this, you know, e even down, you know. It does look better this way, but just for now, I'm gonna keep it, I'm gonna keep it here. Cause it doesn't hit the hood and the filter is sitting right up. So um, I'm probably gonna leave it like this. And it's, I know for a fact it's breathing a lot better. So I'm happy with it, you know. So. All right, last scene, this was cocked over to the passenger side and I didn't have it tied down. Um, I just wanted to drive it yesterday just to see how it was gonna hold up. I beat the piss out of it for about 20 minutes, came home and this was like leaning to the side and it was oil around here. Um, so I knew right then and there I was gonna have to make some type of bracket. Um, I just put 
this setup here for now. Doesn't look too bad. It's sturdy as hell. I'll tell you that much. This is a M10, M6 by 55 millimeter thread. All right. I already had these bolts laying around. I got a, like an eight pack or a 10 pack for eight bucks off of Amazon. So I'll put this in the link down below. M6 by 55 millimeters long, 55 millimeters long. And with a 10 millimeter nut, um, it's really sturdy. Now, I miscalculated the hole a little bit because I was like, I could drill a hole through here and just put it through these little plastic part that holds, holds the harness for the quill pack down quill packs down and um yeah you know some extra shit over there extra gasket maker because like I said I drilled the hole too big so if I keep it like this I'll just get another pipe and drill the hole a lot better but if you know if I'm gonna do all of that I'll just get another pipe and make a bracket that goes around so I don't stop any airflow pressure um so yeah, I put some gasket maker in these threads because after I came home, you know, the brass gets hot, way hotter than the plastic. Plastic damn there doesn't even get hot. But I had just put some under there, put some on these threads, and put some around here. And um, yeah, compared to this setup that I had, my first setup, this filter doesn't look that much smaller on camera, but in person, poof, boy, let me tell you. You see how it's like red? It's like it's like burgundy. That's because there's nothing but oil in here, guys. Because I had this directly on top of the oil cap, where under there is oil just splashing everywhere. And yes, it was pressure getting out, but not as good as it will be now. You know, considering oil is never going to basically get up here and just oil down the damn filter. So... Not only is the filter almost double the size, but it's not going to get wet. Because, um, you know, the liquid's going to have to travel through here and then go up there. And by the time it gets here, it doesn't look that long on camera, but this shit's 8 inches, man. So basically, another inch here, another inch here. This is 10 inches full, full of travel that the oil would have to leak up out of the filter. So I'm not going to have to deal with that. I didn't have to cut the hood at all. It sits right up under here. I closed the hood. I got a round mirror and I put it under here after the hood was closed. And I looked and I seen that the hood was directly right over it. And I had to put grease around here and close the hood. There was no grease. So I didn't have to customize the hood at all. Um, so yeah, just like I said, I know, I know it looks really bizarre. Um, but man, I got a lot of crankcase pressure getting out, and you want to get the con, you want to get the condensation and moisture out of your engine so the oil can perform the way it was meant to. And if you got water down oil, it's not gonna protect your piston walls, your bearings, none of that shit. Um, unless you change your oil every week or something. But I spent like 60 bucks on my oil. And I'm not just trying to be a cheap ass and making the oil last forever. But I want to see, you know, if this oil that's 50, 60, 70 bucks for five quarts will last. You know, not just last, but outperform cheaper oils. So I'm going to put like four or five thousand miles on my oil, in my oil. And um, yeah, I want to see if this shit really works, you know. And technically speaking, it will work. Because people who don't have catch can systems, um, their goddamn oil is watered down. Especially if you got a high performance engine and you don't have some type of system getting all of that moisture out. And basically water. Um, so, yeah, this shit works, man. I got a whole lot of pressure coming out of here, boy. Whole lot of pressure. Whole lot of pressure. I know, I know it look crazy. You no, know, look crazy. But I mean, you guys can go get that hundred and twenty dollar nice looking um, oil cap catch can system that leaves you with the two 10 a.m. fittings, so you can run the lines to your catch can. 
My only beef with that setup is, and I'm not even talking. I'm not even talking about the price because this whole setup, ten bucks, twelve bucks, ten bucks, twenty eight bucks, which equals to sixty dollars for this whole setup. I already had this bolt laying around, so I mean, I mean, shit, you could buy a pack of bolts for five bucks. I'm pretty sure you Honda guys got a 10 millimeter nut somewhere. So you would only have to buy this by a uh, M6 by 55 bolt, whatever, 65 bucks, right? 70 bucks. Or you spend double, 120, $130 and get that pretty little oil oil cap catch can system. And um, it looks pretty, but it's not getting the airflow that this ghetto ghetto ass shit is getting out it's it's not it's not getting out the air pressure that my little ghetto system is getting out it's not i have a half inch airflow straight from the bottom of the cap through the fitting through the pipe through the other fitting out of the filter with the other uh setup that you guys can get for 120 130 bucks um first of all you gotta buy the lines you gotta buy the 10 a.m uh, fitting fittings and you gotta buy the line and you gotta get a catch can if you already have a catch can system then cool you guys can spend that buck 20 get that little oil cap thing with the two 10 a.m. fittings that go either to the right or to the left whatever but it's not getting the, the, the uh, pressure out that this is because within that little oil baffle system, there's an oil baffle system in that cap. This is straight, you know, airflow. Straight airflow. Um, yeah. It looks a lot better than this ghetto shit, but it's not outperforming. This little rigged up um, setup is uh, creating. This shit right here. I argue anybody find me another person that has a setup out of their oil cap that breathes better than this bad boy right here that's not leaking out oil anywhere show me 60 bucks 60 bucks um, um, I could uh I don't know if I'm gonna say that you guys gonna run, run with my creativity but um, I could run, I could get a 10 in uh, fitting, you know, something that hooks up to a 10 in line, and I could run that bad boy straight out of the cap and just run it along here with this one, you know, and that, that will look a lot better, you know, if I had a 10 in line coming out of this instead of this setup, but you know, with more travel. Um, it's not gonna outperform this because because your air has to go through the hose find its way through the little catch can and then out of the filter this setup it's coming straight out it's the same setup guys filter filter the air comes out of the filter the pressure leaves the filter this filter is coming straight out of straight out of the cap 10 inches from the cap 10 inches versus What's this? Two feet from here all the way to the catch can. That's about two and a half feet, it looks like. This is 10 inches from here to here. So I know this setup look crazy. I know it looks crazy. But if we put this through science, man, I got the best oil cap um, crankcase system on planet Earth, I think. On planet Earth. Yeah. Find me somebody else, man. You know? Mark built. I'm out. <laughs>